Join us as we explore the two different worlds of Stephen King's Bangor, Maine. Hi, I'm Allison. <laughs> That's baby Chloe. <laughs> and I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Kiara. Hi, I'm Kalina. We're a family of five who sold our home in September of 2018 to travel the United States on our national adventure. Bangor, Maine, home of Stephen King. But before we get started, the girls and I are going to stop by a specialty sweet store and get some candy. So one thing we promised them was to get a little bit of a treat before we headed out to get all the history here. You guys excited? Yeah, I'm going to bite myself, my mom. They each get a little bit of allowance, so we did say that they could go to the candy store to get some special treats. This is a little bit more of an adult town as far as history goes. So we just stopped off at the candy store and the girls are diving into their yummy little treats. The girls have no idea that Stephen King's famous movie, It, was, was actually based off of this small town, Bangor, Maine. is a famous American author of fictional horror. Although he and his wife moved to Bangor, Maine after they were married, this place has been a huge instrumental part of his horror stories. It's been his inspiration, a place where he can ponder, sit, think, and take in the surroundings. On a rainy day, it's interesting what the mind can do to somewhat normal looking things. Take this drain for instance. So we just uh, went and saw Stephen King's drain and across the street was a huge park. So the girls are going to have some fun playing at the playground. This park, baseball field, and water park is a huge credit to Stephen King. He's donated so much to the town of Bangor, and this park is a huge reflection. They created a pool with water slides and an actual baseball field that was true to size of the National Baseball League. Kids here in Bangor, Maine have a huge opportunity to enjoy and appreciate life outdoors because of the opportunities that Stephen King has provided. Although if you were to look, there's no reflection of that anywhere. He's very modest. Kind of on the warm side, but it's still only in the 70s, the low 70s. It's a really great park that they have. Standing in front of Stephen King's home, one of the coolest things I think that they have is this actual fence and the three-headed dragon right behind me. Heading into Mount Hope Cemetery here in Maine, it's a very unique cemetery. When you walk the grounds, you will see Carrie and George on two headstones. Although Stephen King did not know either Carrie or George, he did walk by these headstones very often, and the names resonated with him later in life when he created those novels. Mount Hope is one of the few cemeteries within the country where you can actually walk. Its design is more of a park where people can walk, jog, and take part and commune with the area and surrounding. 
On a sunny day, it's not uncommon to see a lot of people just enjoying the area. The layout of the cemetery is actually on hills. It's not a flat cemetery. If you're looking for something a little bit more kid-oriented, there is a beautiful orchard just outside of town called the Tree Work Orchards. So today we're at Tree Wordy Orchards and it's not in season for strawberries or blueberries or even the corn or the apples, but they've got some animals and some play places for the kids to play at and we're gonna have a good time. Well, they're not wild. The only way they'll bite you is if you take your hand and put it inside their mouth. So if you don't do that, you should be okay. Mine is duck food. You have a recorder? Ready? Twist it around. Go! Whoa! That's killing it! Catch it. Uh oh. <laughs> electric. So you see how it says it says it's electric by. The good news is this farm does have ice cream and a ton of animals and cool activities for kids. So we're just gonna enjoy our day. Yum. Diving back into the spooky side of Bangor, Maine. There are a lot of old historic grand buildings in Bangor, Maine. And next to these beautifully grand historic old buildings is actually a beautiful brand new state-of-the-art hospital that Stephen King helped to donate quite a significant amount of money to. Again, something that he does not boast about. Most of these grand, huge historic old buildings have had a huge important impact on Stephen King and his family, as well as his novels. You see this white building here? It's a school his wife went to, but it's also a scene from within his movies and novels. The shower inspired him. There's only one place where you can see Stephen King's name, although he's given so much to the community. His name only appears here on this radio station. So if you're ever in Bangor, Maine, know that it's not all spooky horror film stories. It's actually a beautiful town, and it's such a nice, family-friendly place to be. You are, you're kicking those 